Hey everyone, it's Olga Helbein here and today I want to talk about Graphic 45 Decades inks. And those are manufactured by Colorbox. They come in a really nice film felt pad and those are water-based inks. And in today's video I will share a few techniques with those inks as well as you can check out all the color samples and get to know a little bit about the property. All colors are a little bit on the vintage side. Let's start with Bon Voyage Blue. It's really nice uh, deep blue color. My favorite green ever is antique moss is just a perfect green it's not too bright not too vivid just really good green color my favorite is venetian lace it's this kind of yellow that fits all the colors now photogenic is uh, black when you stamp it's solid black when you use the blending tool it's a black with really nice bluish hue into it Dark cashmere is nice chocolatey brown. It looks amazing mixed in with Venetian lace. Triumphant red is really nice, rusty between red and orange color. Robin's egg is really nice pastel blue with a turquoise hint into it. Really cool color. French lilac is nice pastel uh, purple shade. And precious pink is just a perfect baby pink color. I had some fun with those things in this video and before each card you will see what colors I used. So for the first one, first I uh, embossed on white uh, some graphic 45 stamp on the watercolor cardstock. And you can just put the ink from directly from your pad into craft mat, spray a little bit of water and just pick it up with the paper. But I prefer more controlled way, so I'm just squishing ink with a piece of foil. I pick it up from the craft mat or directly from the pad. I'm adding a little bit of uh, water and then I just squeeze the stain uh, directly to the cardstock. This way through the, the foil I can see where I'm pushing the ink and uh, I can push it a little bit in the some directions so you get really nice messy watercolor effect but you still can control it a little bit. Those inks highly react with water and they perfectly mix with each other. When you apply them wet next to the other wet color they will mix and create the new colors and if you want to avoid this mixing just dry your work between uh, the layer of colors i really like this property that they mix and create this those unique shades and i often when i'm inking my uh, pages with them i just mix them together on my blending tool and you can achieve really cool effects with that you can also apply them directly with uh, with a brush but it's a really controlled way and you get a little bit different stain i wanted accidental stain so i went with smashing them through the foil and that's how my background look like and to create my card i just cut out some uh, frames uh, from my papers and I'm using only graphic 45 papers. I have on also cut out some uh, images from Parisian Cafe uh, collection and this collection is the one that I mostly used uh, for this card. I really like the mission in my project so I use uh, foam tape to stick everything and have some elements raised. Uh, often I double my tape uh, to have this option to slide uh, some elements under uh, 
the main focal point this way I will create really tight uh, but full composition and those are compositions that I like the most so create just this sweets scene on our card with some sweets and flowers from a Parisian cafe collection it's full of uh, sweet cakes and uh, some macaronis and really cool and feminine and I think that this card is just super cute with this uh, with those sweet uh, pictures on it so I'm just assembling my card I'm just sticking it with a double sided adhesive tape into my card base and it's really nice and sturdy panel and the only thing that was missing was the sentiment and I decided to use uh, ink here I'm using precious pink color and I'm stamping it a few times with my stamping tool to make sure that I covered all this uh, solid stamp and as you can see those inks um, work perfectly with stamping not only with applying like aquarels they are really versatile and you can create whole project with them now let's skip to the card number two and all the finishing touches I will add to all four cards at the end of video. So for this one, first I stamped uh, one of the images from the collection. I stamped with Versamark on aquarel uh, cardstock and I embossed it this time with a clear embossing uh, powder to have a little bit different effect than the first time. Those things are very cool to add some accents on the edges or you can use them as you use distressing ink to distress and darken edges. I like to use them with makeup sponge because it spreads them really nicely. Uh, right now I'm not worrying about my uh, ink stains uh, be blotchy or something like that because I will apply water and it will blend. So I'm applying Robin Sack directly into my craft mat spritzing it with water and picking up all the color with my uh, panel. I'm adding also a little bit splashes to have this underwater feeling. For this card I will mostly use the collection Voyage Beneath the Sea. It's full of uh, really cool underwater motifs. Uh, we have some mermaids and some cool images. Uh, that I will use to create the scene uh, onto my panel. I don't know what's wrong with me and frames, I just love framing things. I think that everything framed look better. And I'm using again a lot of uh, distance foam tape to create some dimension onto my project. I'm assembling everything together and uh, part of those um, botanical motifs uh, are hidden under this top frame. This way they picking uh, through the window and it's not a shaker card because I didn't want to cover all the really cool background. I decided to go with uh, marine threading all around so I create those small thread pockets. You just bend the strip of paper on your paintbrush or on your pencil and stick the ends together. This way we will create paper loop that we can uh, thread our string through. When all my loops are secured and uh, dry, I can thread up string and I put the knot between uh, each loop. This way I will have really cool uh, marine filling to my card. And I just stick my panel uh, onto another piece of 
paper to have frame again frame and I just put my focal point uh, and some small embellishments I love those fishes <laughs> they are so cool and uh, all those images are really fun to have play with to create those scenes I'm using those inks mostly with water because I really love the effects that I can achieve but they look beautifully just applied directly into the paper they blend really nicely especially on uh, aquarelle or super smooth uh, paper and you can apply them with almost everything so with this card I'm just applying them with kitchen sponge I prefer to use makeup uh, sponge as it spreads ink nicer but you can use whatever you have just with those sponges you have to go light handed and for this technique I will be uh, stamping with water with my stencil uh, I'm applying water into my stencil and then I uh, press it down with kitchen towel and this kitchen towel is really important part because we're basically squeezing the water from underneath our stencil and we want the kitchen towel to soak this water immediately um, because we want our inks to react with uh, the water only on the stencil part um, when I dried up my piece I just add some stamping with uh, the same uh, shades of ink and I decided to go and watercolor uh, butterflies for this card so I just stamped them with uh, VersaFine black ink and then I just went and colored them with my water brush and different shades of graphic 45 inks and uh, I achieved really nice effects so you can use them also to color in your images you can use them to stamp you can use them to uh, distress the edges they are very versatile inks Okay, so back to my card. Of course, I needed my frame, so I just stuck a piece of papers. Uh, each time I use slightly bigger piece, this way I achieve really nice frame um, on my project. I stuck my butterflies together with um, distance foam, and this way I achieve one really dimensional butterfly and I put some extra foam under the wings so he will be sticking out uh, on my project. I used here uh, different die cuts from different collections and all the materials that I used you will find in the description box and on Graphic45 uh, blog and I will of course leave the link also in the description box for you and again I'm creating really uh, full but packed composition and I'm adding lettering and I die cut it also uh, from the paper that you could see on the screen and let's skip to the last card I didn't uh, film somehow how I created this uh, background it was uh, also uh, full smudging like the first card I just used different combination of inks I made them uh, together uh, for each one of them and I just left the best ones uh, for you and I'm starting from the frame <laughs> what a surprise in this video <laughs> uh, so again I'm stacking my panel into a piece of paper and I'm cutting it with the small edge around uh, to have this frame that I so like in this uh, kind of cards and I'm placing some uh, cutouts from the papers I believe that it's from ladies diary collection uh, I 
really like this uh, image with a cage and with birds. It's really a uh, really good collection to create uh, some really soft and vintage uh, scenes. And when I'm done with that, I'm just placing my card uh, panel into my card base. And now you can see me uh, adding some last touch-ups. I add them to all cards at the same time. So I uh, stack some more elements. Uh, I added sentiments uh, to cards that were missing them. I inked up a little bit uh, edges of uh, some of my cards and I uh, added some touch-ups with my uh, white gel pen. I'm just highlighting some details and uh, after that I will use my Wink of Stella brush to add some shimmer on some elements. It's really uh, hard to catch in camera or on the photo but in real life it makes all the difference. Uh, to finish this sweet card uh, I used some uh, Nouveau uh, drops. Uh, I used clear ones to highlight some cherries and some details on the cookies and I created dotting all around and sprinkle it with glitter to have this sugary uh, finish to this card and I think that this one is the one that I like the most from hold the bench. I added also uh, this wink of Stella uh, into my biscuits and I'm really happy with this one. Uh, then I sprinkle some wink of Stella if you uh, uh, shake it uh, on your project it will give you really nice drops and I highlight the birds and this one I also really like. Uh, to be honest, I like the most those romantic ones. Uh, I think that this C card is also really interesting. I'm adding some uh, bubbles from Nubo Drops and I'm highlighting some details with Wink of Stella and uh, it's really dimensional and fun card. And the last one uh, the one with the butterfly, I just covered uh, wings with white gel pen highlights and I added some white gel pen around the sentiment to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope that you like it. Uh, I will leave all the links in the description box. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like more videos like this one let me know in the comments and uh, that's all for today have a nice and creative day bye bye see you next time